Hey guys, I got a quick tutorial for you today. As you can see, we have this phone camera and we're gonna put material on the inside of that lens there. You can see it's got some green and blue tint. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty simple. We're just gonna hop right into it. All right, I have here just a simple phone model of an iPhone 11 I got from GrabCAD and I'll link that down in the description. So um, yeah, so let's just get started here. We're gonna go ahead and move the camera glass out to reveal the lens here. Okay, so as you can see, this is all, all of this is one model. So I'm gonna go into this, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go U to pull up this little menu here, and then L for loop selection. I'm gonna go loop where I want to put the material, and then I'm gonna go U, and then F for fill selection, just like that. And then I'm gonna go up here to select and set selection. And that's gonna do is when we put a material under this polygon, we can tell the material where it's gonna go. Let's go ahead and make a redshift material here. And uh, okay, so when you drag this onto the model that we want, you see it's gonna uh, select everything and we don't want that. And you'll see the material's only going to cover the area that we selected. Um, so now we're going to go to the material. We're going to click AO. We're going to drag that down. And we're going to put it into the reflection reflectivity. Just like that. We're going to click on the material here. And we are going to take the weight all the way down. And then we're going to change the, uh, I think it's Fresnel type to metalness. I'm probably wrong. I probably just butchered that. Um, anyway, and then um, it's actually pretty simple from here. All you're going to do is you're going to make a ramp. Like you could have done this first. A ramp. I'm going to add it onto the input and put it in reflection reflectivity. Now there's a lot of this is where it gets really customizable. You're going to drag down the ramp here. You're going to click load in presets and you just get a lot. You can pick whatever one you want. I think this is the one I picked for the uh, demo, but let's actually add a dome light so we can see what's going on. Um, dome lights. Okay, and you can see we get some purple. Uh, this is mostly purple. You can adjust this. You see all the ramps uh, here. So it looks like we're getting a lot. A lot of this shade is on uh, purple right here. So if we want more blue, let's go ahead and move that blue in. And it's mostly blue. And then you can just adjust it to make it uh, however many colors you want. So yeah, that's pretty much how to do it. And uh, I just couldn't find a tutorial like this anywhere else. So... Um, it took me a little while to put it together. So, yeah, completely adjustable. You just play around with it and get whatever tint that you want. So.